Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna completely eliminate your slide with these two fields. All right guys, so let's talk about how to eliminate your slide with two fields. So there's two fields that I wanna talk about today to eliminate your slide during your downswing. Now, before we do that, I wanna let you know today's episode is sponsored by LiveView. Some of you guys know that I love LiveView because I love feedback. I wasted way too much time not having feedback. You shouldn't do that. LiveView, you can watch yourself as you're swinging. The only way I know to expedite the process of improving. Please, please, please check it out. All right, guys, so let's talk about eliminating the slide. So the slide, for those of you who don't know, would be during the downswing, having your lower body, usually easiest to see with your left hip, moving too far lateral towards the target. That's kind of it in a simple sense, too much lateral motion or slide during uh, the downswing. Not talking about backswing, we've got videos for that, want to talk about the downswing. There's a common problem that I see amongst all players, especially amongst higher handicap levels, um, that leads to a lot of inconsistency with the contact, inconsistency with the club face control, just not hitting the ball day in and day out as good as you could. Now, to me, let's kind of define um, how much lateral means a slider. So we know slide means towards the target too far. What is too far? If you guys hopefully have been watching the other videos, we usually use a reference point, which would be a line up kind of the outside of your left foot. So I kind of duck my foot out a little bit. I use that as a line. A line up uh, outside of my left foot, which would be, I'm gonna call it roughly a little over a fist outside of my left hip or in the middle of my left thigh, okay? That's a rough guideline. If this were a wall, right, our goal is to be against that wall fully turned into the follow-through. You're gonna hear me say that probably a thousand more times this year because that's always gonna be what it is. Good players, good ball strikers, one of the commonalities amongst them is they get to the wall fully turned. If you slide too much, you get to the wall with your left hip without any turn, or even worse, you get past the wall, okay? So, Eric, is there a good player who you've ever seen who made it to the PJ Tour who slides past the wall? Of course. Do most good ball strikers slide past the wall? No, they do not they're turning as they're rotating up against the wall. So that's a slide, okay? Some of you guys have been trying to fix a slide or get rid of a slide for probably ever and haven't been able to do it. And there's two feels that I've found work really, really well. I'm gonna pop my glove on, my up glove. If you guys haven't checked out, up glove is our official glove partner, if you will. And they send you the gloves on a monthly or quarterly basis. I would check them out. I'm a convenience guy. I like gloves sent to me, up glove, love it. If you guys wanna check that out, link will be in the description down below. So fixing the slide motion. There's one feel for the right side of the body and one feel for the left side of the body that I find work really, really well and I wanna marry those together. Let's talk about the right side feel first. So when I'm making my downswing, what I really like to have a sensation of is right side bend or right lateral bend, depending on who you're talking about, which just is me doing a right side crunch, okay? So can you see me here? The distance between my hip and my shoulder will get smaller, okay? Distance between my hip and my shoulder gets smaller. Or if you think about my rib cage to my hip, decreases, okay? So there's a couple different ways to feel that, but that's essentially what I'm looking for is more right lateral bend during my downswing. Now, when I do it, my body almost pre-programmed, you can see my left hip going out of the leg because I've rehearsed this a million times, but me getting lower on my right side and having a little bit of right side crunch makes it easiest to do this next part, okay? Now, think logically with me here. If my left hip normally goes too far forward without turning, and I always tell you guys, you need to feel the opposite of what you currently do, what would make sense to feel in terms of your left hip? Well, more forward certainly doesn't make any sense. More back would be the opposite, okay? But in this sense, back in this direction behind me, I'm gonna tell you is the opposite of forward. I understand it's not really the opposite of forward, but for this circumstance, more behind you, is what I want you to have a sensation here. So that's part number one. If you slide too much this way, 
you're gonna have to have a sensation when you do this left side, we're gonna talk about in a minute, that you don't go forward at all. If you can't go forward at all, you can still move in two different directions that I want you to. Number one is what I mentioned, which is back behind you this way. That would be rotation. The second part I want you to feel is that you're working down and behind you. Down and behind you. Why do I want you to work down and behind you? Two main reasons. Number one, when you work down and you increase the bend in your left leg, it's easier to use the ground and rotate from there, from what I've seen in players. Number two, almost everyone who I see that has too much slide has a left hip that's too high and they're too tilted. So the opposite of high is low. Okay, the opposite of up is down. So we're going down and around. Now when you combine these two feels together, for me personally, who has been sliding and left hip up, because I was taught to do that, okay? But anyway, I do that. This is the only thing I've done that really fixes my lateral motion permanently, and I combine those two feels together. So drum beat, what those two are when I combine them is, the right side is getting lower, I'm crunching my right side in, and as I'm doing that, my left hip is going low and around. Do you see the position that that puts me in here? That creates all of the other stuff that we've talked about automatically. When I do these two pieces, right side crunching, getting closer together, in combination with my left hip going down and back, down and back, down and back, my left leg is automatically externally rotating. I'm on my heel and outside, automatic. I'm not thinking about any of that. My pressure in my right foot and my right leg are exactly where I want them to be automatically. When I'm adding right side bend and that, they happen automatically. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of these and we can start to play, play through with these. So if I'm taking my normal setup, okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit a couple. And as I'm doing this, you can see I have my live view set up behind me. I've got my phone in here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what I'm feeling from here is my right crunch, right? I'm crunching my right side, almost like my hip, like my right hip is almost getting like taller here. If my right hip goes up, my left hip goes down, right? Okay, so my right hip goes up, my left hip goes down. Do I want to feel like my right hip goes down, so my left hip goes up? No, I don't. I don't want that to lengthen. I want this to shorten, okay, shorten, right hip up, left hip down and around as I'm going, and then I, I have nothing to move forward, okay? I'm not pushing as early off my right side. It's just pure rotation from there. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate one with that, and what I'm doing is I'm just gaining a feel, right? I'm, I'm, getting my right side bend, my left hip is going down, a little bit of crunch, and I'm actually watching my phone. So those of you that don't have live, you or never used it, the beauty of it is you can watch yourself as you're doing it. So what I like to do is I do one or two rehearsals, I feel it, I'm watching myself and seeing what I'm doing. Normally for this I'd have it right in line, but we didn't put it there because the, you guys would be right in your way, okay? But I can do this from down the line or here and I can see what I'm doing actually at just real time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit one and see if I actually did it. So right side bend, left hip lower. And that for me feels really, really, really good. Especially again, you know, for me it feels really good obviously because I'm coming from someone who slides and goes up. So if you guys are watching this and you slide too, I feel your pain. I've tried nine million things. There's other drills that work, but in terms of using your body motions, this is, this is really what it is. So what I would do is I would check my video and I'd go back and look at it and say, did I do that or not? Did I, I'm gonna record and say, oh, did I do it or did I not? And then I need to go back and make adjustments. I literally, Mary filmed me before we did this video so I could actually see if I was doing what I was saying I was doing. And I do this for a living and I do this all day and I still don't know, my feels don't match reality. If I'm serious about getting better, I need to give myself feedback. I like Live View, it's easy, I set it up, I use it. I quite frankly don't care what you use to do it. This is just the easiest. It's the only thing that I know that you can see yourself. There's another app that we're looking at is Mirror Vision Golf too, but that Live View is the one we've used, and you can see myself as I swing. It's the only thing I know that actually expedites the process. So I go on there and check it. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go up to the top. I'm gonna feel my right hip kind of getting higher. I'm gonna feel me crunching my right side, which is just right lateral bend. My left hip's going down as I'm rotating. And that's all that I'm really feeling here. Right side crunch, right hip up high, left hip going down and around, and there's my rotation and no slide. I can see that I'm actually doing it there. I try and replicate the same feel. And I love the way that feels. 
and I don't slide. And if you do these correctly, you won't slide either. Now, I like to put them together. You can do them separate or put them together. It's perfectly fine. The, the reality is if your left hip goes down and around, okay, you can't go up and forward. So that's part of what I want this video to be. I also want this video to be introducing those of you that don't know to live you or pleading with some of you, quite frankly, that I talk to, to give yourself feedback, okay, in some way, shape, or form. Even for me, I need to see if I'm doing what, I'm, what I say I'm doing. When I'm practicing, I always, 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 always record my first like three to five swings until I confirm that I'm feeling what I'm trying to do, if I'm actually doing it or not. If I'm actually doing it, I turn it off, I just practice. If I'm not, then I'm gonna continue recording until I actually get it. That's quality reps, that's deliberate practice, that's how you get good at anything in your life, golf included. For those of you who are practicing that don't like to do the video, or you don't like it because it doesn't look, then that's, you're just gonna continue wasting time when you're practicing. So get something like this and give yourself feedback. And if you're a slider, play around with these feels. Right hip higher, right side crunch. I, I really feel when I'm doing like my, almost like my right, for this to get smaller, my shoulder can go down or my hip can go up or both. I feel it more like my right hip's going up like this to create that as my left hip goes down. So I'll do one more. There's two little slide feels. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Yeah, and that feels really, really strong for me. So this is just a different way to do it. We've un, uh, done other videos on different body segments and you can reverse engineer stuff. We've got a rotation product that's gonna drop on the 18th of this month of March. That's gonna go in depth of these pieces a lot more and really break it down for you piece by piece. Because those of you who slide too much definitely need help with the rotation part. So check that out, look out for that coming out. But use these feels, use feedback. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, if you liked today's video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell if you haven't. Also, please subscribe. If you guys do want more instruction from me tailored for you, check out kogornogolf.com. We are offering a 14-day free trial. And as always, Mondays, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are live here on YouTube. Thank you, guys.